Welcome to an assembly video of the Order 4 V2. Opening the box, you should find your printed instruction manual. I have the complete layout inside the foam of where all the pieces are and then it begins into the instruction side of the manual. So we'll go ahead and get this unpacked. Okay, once you've unpacked everything, you should have all of the following. The TF card with the card reader, the hardware pack with all the screws and the Allen keys, the dual filament tubes or Bowden tubes, the filament cutter, a 10 meter sample of PLA, various color the x-axis wooden horizontal blocks and there's two of them the power cable the user manual and all important the filament holder but for a V2 it looks like this design with the rounded shape if you have a different version, such as the V1 or the V0, yours will be more of an angled bracket. Step one is going to be locating the top beam and the filament holder, along with three M 4x6 screws and we're just going to do a basic attachment. Once you have that complete, set that aside. Step two is to make sure that your base unit has been removed from the box. Go ahead and at this time verify that all the screws are still securely attached, that the feet are proper. You can take off your um, screen cover at this time if you would like. Also verify that the cable connector housing is firmly attached. And since we're about to get into that next step, verify on both of the couplers that the two screws are present. Step three, take out your two Z-axis linear guide rails. You're gonna have one with a extra metal notch. This notch is going to go as you're facing the front of the printer on the left side by the wires. Just line it up, slide it all the way into the hole with the metal railing part facing forward. And then the other rail with the two screw holes facing downward place in the other side to line up. Step four is going to be taking the last remaining M4 screws and you're take two each. As you notice at this time, I am not using the Allen key to secure them. We were going to do that later to square up the frame. At this point, only do a hand tight to move to the next. Step five is to locate the X-axis linear guide rail components and the back plate component. So it'd be this piece with the extruder motor and filament runout and the main assembly. Place it on its back. Mind the wires as they come down to push them gently but out of the way to line up the extruder assembly so that the extruder motor is facing up and line up the holes here. This is going to be four 
M4 by 10 screws. As you see, went ahead and locked these in. That way it completes this half of the assembly. Step six is going to be assembling the x-axis onto the base of the printer. We'll go ahead and move that to a better location. Okay, when we move the assembly, notice the wires go right around this block. They're going to line up on this rail, so you want to make sure that these wires are pushed gently out of the way. When you go to line it up on, on the far rail, the other side is basically doesn't have anything to misalign it, but it still slides on very easy. Make sure that the extruder motor is pointing towards the back. Gently set on top to get initial alignment. And under its own weight, it'll still stay at the very top like so. This will give you a chance to make sure that the wires that are by the extruder motor for the or secondary motor for the x-axis are pulled out of the way where they won't get hit. Firmly put equal pressure. You'll feel it line up twice with the, the middle and the top wheel and then your entire gantry will be able to slide down. But do not let it hit and keep mind of the cable chain. This part is going to go in between the wires and it will be against the block right here. So you want to make sure that all the wires are clear and that you would be able to have movement for the cable chain to line up. Step seven, we're going to start by rotating the printer to where you can have access to the full cable chain and backside. I'm going to pull the motor and filament sensor wire to be in front of the cable chain to come out in the middle of it. Slide it in, or slide the cable chain behind it. And then included in your pack is an M3 by six screw. It is either going to be button head with the Phillips, or the, with the hex driver, or it's gonna be a Phillips head. Either one, on the bottom, there's a three hole set. Pick the top center hole. Line up your screw and put it in the only hole that's on the vertical Z axis. Does not have to be tight, just enough secure to hold the cable chain in place. Once you have that, take your remaining wires that come from within the cable chain, hook them up to the board. And in this case, there's only two and they're of different size. Make sure you watch the proper orientation. Make sure they are fully seated. Gently push the wires into the holder. Take your wire cap, line it up with the bottom, and it may take a bit of pressure to fully snap in place. Once that is secured, your wires are now protected from any other harm. Step eight, you can rotate the printer again if you so desire. We're gonna take our two Z-axis screw rods, pass them through the brass screw nuts all the way into the coupler, and then lock the grub screws to each one. Step nine, go ahead and take the piece from step one, the top with the filament holder. Filament is going to be facing towards the rear of the machine with the holes lining up on the top of the Z screws. Set that basically right on top. And from your screw pack, we're gonna use the only two M5 by 40 screws 
to line up and lock down the top of this extrusion bar. Step 10 is to take the filament tube, the Bowden tube, have it at a curl direction, up and over, and place into the extruder. And while we're here on the back, take your motor cable, plug the one into the filament sensor, and the longer motor cable straight into the motor. By having it behind this assembly is not going to cause an issue due to with the length because this entire gantry is going to move up as a unit so it won't get caught up but if you do so choose you can route the cable in front of the lead screw so that the protective covering is what is closer to touching and it would touch on either side but if you would rather it be on that side is not an issue with orientation and I have seen no documentation whatsoever of any issues. If you do decide to go on the back, you can also pull just a little bit snug and use a small cable tie on this upper portion to keep the cable permanently out of the way. Step 11, we're going to go ahead and rotate the printer. Manually take your Z screws, twist them in unison to raise the gantry up. You're going to take our two wooden level blocks, one on each side, and the optimal alignment is going to be the X axis metal rail itself. It does have the belt on it, so you're going to have to try to visually line up the best location that it can go right in between the screws and the belt on this side and on this far side is a lot easier because really you only have just a little bit of the belt and if you push the block all the way up to the bed you're going to miss the level or the X tensioning housing so once you have those pretty decent manually lower and watch for alignment You want to get where, as you twist, you can take out as much skew prior and get these two leveled like so. And once you have that, leave it as is for right now and all of the non-powered manual setup is complete. Next we're going to apply power and continue on with the final calibration. Step 12, go ahead and move printer to optimal position, plug in your power cable, power on the machine. From your menu, motion, you want to move axis move Z, move 10 millimeters, give you enough clearance to go ahead and take out the blocks, back out of that menu, to motion, go down to auto home. Step 13, you can either hit the reset button to go ahead and disable the X and Y motors, or you can also go through motion, oops, 
to disable steppers at the bottom. Once you click that button, you'll hear a slight click denoting that the motors are all now disabled and disengaged. From this point, you want to go to the four corners above each of the screws and with your piece of paper, do your nozzle to bed alignment by getting it where you can just drag the piece of paper out from underneath the tip of the nozzle touching the bed and that'll set it at approximately 0.1 millimeters above the bed. Once you've completed that step, you are ready on a regular auto home to go ahead and load your filament, cutting it at a 45 degree bevel, passing it from the top around in through the filament sensor into the extruder, manually push it until you get close to where you feel tension. And at that point, you're ready to preheat and then begin the print process at this point, you have now completed the manual setup and you are ready to print. Follow along with any additional advanced guides to show how to set up the bed leveling and the Z-probe for proper calibration and for printing. Thank you.